All right, historic and patriotic event your whole family can enjoy this weekend. In case you did not know it, we're just an hour away from the largest marine base in the world and home to the 2nd Marine Division, and they're celebrating their 75th anniversary this weekend. So Carolina in the morning, Stacey Pino joining us live right now. Stacey, where are all these celebrations taking place? Uh, Kim, like you said, in Jacksonville, they are going to be having their big celebration this weekend and everything kicks off Saturday at 10 a.m. with a parade where more than 6,000 Marines are going to be marching along with several community members. And I'm actually joined by one right now. This is Sarah Giacchino. She is with the USO of North Carolina. So talk to me a little bit about what is the goal of the USO? Stacy, the USO is an incredible organization that was founded and started back in 1941 through President Roosevelt. Our mission really is to provide support to America's military throughout their service to family, home, and country. And we are so proud to be able to celebrate this event with all of Jacksonville, North Carolina. And that's kind of their main message this weekend too, is they want to give gratitude for all of you and in the service that you guys have been able to give them over the past 75 years. And in your hand, I know you have something kind of interesting. You guys are always there for the deployments, the homecoming. So talk about what you have in your hand. Yes, one of the many programs that we offer, and there's so many, are when we get ready to say goodbye to a deployed service member, we have these little tiny, what we call care packages, and we distribute each military service member gets one of these. And basically what it has is snacks, it has a little tiny folded American flag. It's got some toiletries. It's just something to get them along the next leg of their step. When they come home, we have rack packs, which has a, a um, lots of washcloth and just something so they don't have to dig through yeah. their bag. Little things they can grab real quick. Right. So these are just things you have helped them with since they started in 1941. So you're definitely a group they want to thank. They want to thank all the community members of Jacksonville and surrounding communities, even right here in Wilmington. I know we have a lot of veterans that live here, families that have loved ones who are maybe stationed at Camp Lejeune. So that is what the main message of this parade is. And I know you guys are going to be in the parade, so stay with us here on Carolina in the Morning. We're going to get you an inside peek and give you a full list of all those details that you can see and attend while up in Camp Lejeune this weekend. Back to you guys. When you see a service member, many of you like to stop and thank them for their service. Well, this weekend, the 2nd Marine Division at Camp Lejeune want to thank all of you for all of your support over the past 75 years. And this morning, Carolina in the morning, Stacy Penna joining us live. Stacy, big events taking place this weekend in Jacksonville and all around Camp Lejeune, correct? That's right, uh, Bob, you got it right. They're going to have a huge parade and some special events as well as a special guest. Even the Commandant of the Marine Corps is going to be present this weekend because it is their 75th anniversary. In that parade, there's going to be about 6,000 Marines marching alongside of some community members. And I'm joined with one right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is Sarah. I tell you what, we keep talking about how cold it is and how, <laughs> but we're we're saying, imagine what those Marines are like right now and training out at Camp oh, Lejeune. Stacey. See, there's Marines training in the field right now. I am not going to complain about this weather. <laughs> I know, so we're going to suck it up. But as going back to the parade, I know you guys are in it. So talk about what's it going to be like for the USONC being able to march next to all these Marines. Well, Stacey, it's, they're painting the streets red, white, and blue up in Jacksonville. And we are going to be in the parade with the Marines. It's a tremendous honor for the USO to be center stage in are anchored between uh, the second division. We have the USO Metropolitan Show Troop from New York that will be performing on our half track. And it's gonna be quite an event coming through Jacksonville. That's awesome. And just for anyone at home who's not sure what the USO NC, they are one of the biggest supporters. They were, came alive as soon as the Marines were uh, formed back in 1941 and you guys have been supporting them for the past 75 years as well. So I know there's a dedication that you guys are going to be having. Real quick, talk to me about that dedication. Yes, we have an open house following the parade from 12 to 3 and then at 3.30 we'll be dedicating our center and honoring Matthew Hardiman who was a retired sergeant major that died recently and Matthew Hardiman really kept our center afloat when it could have uh, closed its doors a few years ago. Definitely. So that's something you guys might want to check out. And again, this is going to be for you, for all of your service and support you have given the Marines. So it's definitely something you're not going to want to miss. We'll keep you up to speed on more details about that. I'm going to send it over to Gannon now for the forecast and what you can expect today. Good morning, Gannon. For many years, the U.S. Marines been helping to defend our country, but they say they could have not done it all 
without the public's help. And so this weekend they want to show gratitude and say thank you for your support. Now Carolina in the morning, Stacey Pino is joining us live right now. And these are folks specifically at Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville. So Stacey, what's <clears throat> taking place? Well, Kim, sorry, I have a little hair in my face, but there is uh, going to be a huge celebration this weekend, all Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. There is going to be a parade, special events you can attend, as well as the Commandant of the Marine Corps. So this is a huge celebration. It's their 75th anniversary. Back in 1941 is when the Marine Corps was established. And in that parade, they're going to have uh, one of their members or new service people who help serve the Marines is uh, the USONC and I'm joined right now by one of the members. So Sarah, talk to me a little bit about what the USONC does for those at home who might not know. Uh, the US, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the USO North Carolina, it's cold out here folks. It's so cold, we're losing <clears throat> our words. The USO North Carolina provides support for service members and their families f through several programs that we offer, such as uh, financial literacy, resiliency programs. We have seminars where the service members can come in. We have experts that can help them cope with mm -hmm. post-traumatic stress. And, and it, there's a, a whole battery of uh, new programs that we're offering that we didn't offer 20 years ago. And this is kind of what the whole parade is about, is just thanking people like you and community members who have supported the Marines on all the deployments, the USONC. You guys say you're there as they're leaving when they come home. So what's it going to be like marching next to all of them this weekend? It is one of the highest honors, I can imagine, to be uh, marching with the 2nd Division who has supported our country and has sent their men and women overseas in harm's way to be included in a parade with them on their anniversary and our anniversary is, is, a, is an incredible honor for the U.S. of North Carolina. That's awesome and you know they say they want to thank all of you for your support and there's going to be tons of events out there as it's all free and open to the public and they are encouraging anyone who's interested to come out. Jacksonville is only an hour away and it's one of the largest it's actually the largest marine base that we have in the U.S. so go ahead and take that drive it's not that far away for a full list of those events we do have them listed on our website WECT.com. So go ahead and head there for more details about this historic and patriotic event that's happening this weekend. Back to you guys.